What's going on you man, it's Kath back with a real quick video and I don't know if you can see that in the corner, what the hell is that? So we're gonna look at some upcoming releases real quick. Normally I just do it as a recording and put the pictures up, but today I can't be bothered. That's, that, that's the gods of this truth. I can't be bothered. So it's just easier to show you guys, talk to you guys, and let's have a look at what's coming up. So let's do this. First up, we have the Jordan 1 Bretos, which are due to drop on the 24th of February, 2018. And today is the 22nd. So that's in two days. That's the day after tomorrow. Today, shit, I need to get my shit straight. They, they drop on the 24th. They're dropping via the sneakers app and a lot of select retailers. Apparently, the, the, the stock levels are going to be very high. Um, seeing a lot of people in the US post the Foot Locker drop sites or foot sites, um, they're going to have a lot of stock, but I still think they're going to sell out. So yeah, they're going to be dropping at 129.99, which is 130 pounds. Foot Locker, Nike sneakers app, um, select retailers like Foot, Foot Patrol, Sneakers and Snuff. I keep saying sneakers and snuff. Sneakers and stuff. End Clothing are doing the raffle, so sign up now and, and, as soon as possible, as soon as you see this video. And yeah, let's get on to the next shoe, yeah? Because Jordan 1 bread toe, we all know what it is, so let's jump into the next one. Okay, the next one is the Nike Air Vapor Max Plus 97, aka Japan, aka Black Vault, which is dropping via the sneakers app and a lot of select retailers on the 9th of March 2018. Now, these are dope. They're basically just the bringing together of old and new. So you've got the upper of an Air Max 97 and the midsole and air unit of an Air Vapor Max, which is technology from 2017. So you've got technology all the way from 1997 clashing with technology in uh, 2017. Your crew versus my crew is on. It's gonna drop. It's definitely gonna sell out. I don't think there's gonna be that much hype behind it because a lot of hype beasts don't actually like the Vapor Max that much, but it's another Nike limited release on the lead up. I won't say it's an Air Max Day release, but it's on the lead up to Air Max Day. So if you're interested, set them notifications on the sneakers app and follow me on Instagram, calf underscore official underscore Instagram best way to try and secure yourself a pair because I do my research. Next shoe. Okay, and again, you thought we were going to get away from the Vapor Max, but you were wrong. You were wrong. We're here again with the Vapor Max 2.0. Now, the main difference between these and the usual Vapor Max is there appears to be some reinforced plastic upper on the heel counter. It's still primarily made of prime knit and you've got some funky colorways like this anthracite, dusty cactus, hyper orange. Uh, with a clear, sort of clear blue air sole unit. Again, these drop on the 9th of March 2018 for $169.99, which is way better than the £180 for Vapor Max Flyknit. I don't know what's going on there, but anyway, I think they're cheaper than the original Flyknits, but they're definitely cheaper than the Comde Car. Who am I talking about? Next shoe. Okay, and next up, I spoke about it briefly at the end of my last video. It is the Sean Wotherspoon Air Max 97 One or Air Max 197. It's probably Air Max 197 because that makes more sense. And again, this is going to be the most hyped shoe for Air Max Day. This drops on the 24th of March 2018 and it's going to drop only via raffles via select neat. Select neat. <laughs> it's going to release via draw the Nike sneakers draw via the Nike sneakers app on the 24th yeah by the 24th of March 2018 this is by far make no mistake about it other than the Atmos animal pack this is the most hyped Air Max that will be dropping in March so set your notifications up and be on your A game on the day the robots are gonna eat so many shoes up check select retailers follow me on Instagram calf underscore official insta for all the retailers it's likely to be a number of the select retailers but it's going to be a raffle get it into your head don't think about camping camping is dead it's going to be raffles so Look out for all the raffles, but I'll keep you informed on Cafe Fisher Insta. Next shoe. Okay, and next up is from the Adidas crew. It is the Adidas Pharrell Holy Festival Black Blank Canvas NMD Trail. Now, the NMD Trail is a bit of a bitch for price because the last ones I copped, which were like the teal human races back in 2017, were about 220 pounds. So I think these ones are gonna be pretty much the same. They're to celebrate the uh, Holy Festival, which is to do with peace and love and all that great stuff. It is a blank canvas. The shoe is completely off-white and white. So they are dropping on the 23rd of February. So today is the 22nd, they drop tomorrow. So if you're seeing this, it's too late. Enter your raffles, go to Sneakers and Stuff Stories, enter the raffle, end launches, enter the raffle, Foot Patrol app, enter the raffle, it's just raffle, raffle, raffle. You gotta do it. It's gonna be almost impossible to cop from adidas.com, but if you do decide to try and do that on the website, <gasps> 
Be online for 7 o'clock for an 8 a.m. release. You have to do it. You have to do it. It's, it's going to be difficult, but have faith. They're coming out tomorrow, 8 a.m., adidas.com and a number of select retailers. I'll try and post this video tonight, and, but it's, it's probably too late, and that's my bad, y'all. But if you are following me on Instagram, you would know, so don't, don't have a go at me. I'm just putting it in the video. I'm starring because I feel bad about not putting this up earlier, but next shoe. Okay, and finally, one shoe that you, you have got time for, it is the Nike Flyknit Trainer Black White or Oreo. Now again, the Flyknit Trainer, people think, well, what's the big hype about the Flyknit Trainer? I'll tell you what it is. A lot of people are on the hype of Kanye West, and Kanye West used to wear the Flyknit Trainer quite a lot in the original colorway, which was Oreo White. So that was more of a white black silhouette, but he was known to also wear the black and white one, except this time, rather than crossing the, 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 fl the Flywire Flyknit material to make have, make have the black and white effect all over the upper, You've got the, they kind of blocked the colors. So at the front of the shoe on the toe counter, if they crisscrossed it to mesh it, to make it give that black and white sort of salt and pepper look. On the back, it's fully blocked out as black, a true black shoe on the upper near the back with an all white swoosh. They're neat, they're clean. There's also a triple black colorway, but this black and white version come out via the sneakers app and select retailers on the 27th of February, 2018. They should retail for about 130 to 140 pounds. So yeah, that's the last one I'm gonna put up because I didn't want to make this video too long. I've been Kath, you've been amazing. Stay fly, bleh.